The highest priority of any intelligent highly developed civilization, to one degree or another, will be the goal of controlling all astrophysical events in certain universes, constantly editing and updating its parameters by modifying any celestial objects, ranging from entire galactic clusters to the formation of the landscape on a selected planet or regulating the temperature of a certain star. It is quite obvious that for this to be possible at all, the development of space technologies and astrophysics must be the main prerogative of a thriving civilization in space. Technological modernization will lead to the fact that man, as a species of Homo sapiens, will cease to exist. The future will be in the hands of a new species, Homo cosmicus, which will exist on a completely different level of consciousness. The self-consciousness of the new form of life, going beyond racial, cultural and historical differences in self-identification, will be fully identified with the cosmos. The technologies of cosmic consciousness will become the highest achievement of engineering and architectural thought, which is only available for the creation of a highly developed civilization. Thanks to the best achievements in the field of technology, a supercomputer system of universal scale will allow you to instantly receive information from all solar systems, from all star and galactic clusters about the current state of each micro and macro object located in them, whether it is the movement of an earthworm on the planet Earth or the explosion of supernovae in distant galaxies. Based on the information received, the comic civilization will generate meta-strategies for the development of a particular facet of reality, from the most optimal ways to preserve and distribute resources in the universe to the generation of the most accurate and practical methods for recreating certain stellar objects, for the sake of preserving the vital activity of the material universe itself, preventing the onset of the Great Compression, heat death, the era of decay, the era of black holes and the era of eternal darkness. If the multiverse hypothesis is correct as suggested by Kardashev, reflecting that the most advanced civilizations left our universe and moved to other, more suitable for them. In the event that its preservation is not possible in a particular universe, the technologies of cosmic consciousness will allow you to instantly act according to the established protocol of self-replication in other multiverse, with the further redistribution of all living beings and resources from the dying universe to the new one. If the multiverse hypothesis is not true, then, given the impossibility of preserving the life of the universe, a civilization will be able to generate optimal strategies for creating another universe inside the dying one, thereby making possible the existence of infinite numbers of universes inside other universes, transferring themselves, along with living beings, the necessary resources and technologies from one vessel to another, allowing such material reincarnations to exist forever.